specialists and professionals will say, you must do it, you must get your mother tongue down and you must teach them to read in your mother tongue before and so on and so on. And these are all the reasons why. And then the others say, well, actually, our children are doing English all the time. They're exposed to English on TV. They're doing English when it comes to research and Google and everything else. And, and so they say, to us, it doesn't matter if we teach them in English from the start, because our home language is, is Afrikaans, and we use our Afrikaans just to talk to one another, but all the work we do is in English. And so we're just going to do, focus on just training them in English. Um, to read and to write and everything else. So, so that's on the other side, other people are taking that approach. And we've got families that are, you know, lots and lots of Afrikaans families in Oikos, more than, than English, way more. And these Afrikaans children have been raised all the way through in Oikos and they've done college and university and so on. And they say that in one instance, the, in this particular family, I'm thinking of the mother did Afrikaans first, teach them to read in Afrikaans and then go to English. And this boy says that was really difficult and then for him. And then the other son just went straight to English and he felt he was at an advantage for going straight to English um, because now at university as well, it's all English and I don't know if they're going to go to Afrikaans University, which one that is and all the rest. But I'm just giving you feedback on what parents say about the Afrikaans English thing. And I think the same applies to anything, German, French, whichever. The mother tongue, the, the family have their language and their culture and everything and that, and they seem to choose to teach the second language and lessons and everything else in English because the books are, are, are English. The yeah. Yeah, you can't. You, you struggle to find the resources in anything but English. So uh, Afrikaans families again can find that difficult and a disadvantage. But to me, it's a massive advantage to them because we are English and we only have English curriculum. So our children are not bilingual by any means. They have one language, and so you know Afrikaans families they can have three, like German and Afrikaans and English. It's to their advantage, you know. So what they've said as well as you can pick up. Some have gone to write um, Cambridge Afrikaans and they never ever did Afrikaans, They're Afrikaans speaking, but they never did Afrikaans as a curriculum. Yes. And they can spend one year just brushing because they're so, they mature and they're so proficient in Afrikaans that it's just so easy for them.